everybody so this is my one of my favorite MacBook Pros I've had this for a couple of years now this is the 15 inch version with the Intel i7 chip one of the most powerful laptops of its time back in 2013 um, and I use it quite a lot for everything um, now this particular model um, actually has a little funny um, key here the end key here actually is a little wobbly um, to the point where sometimes it actually sticks out of it kind of sucks as you can see let me just zoom in and you can see a bit closer so as you can see the end key it actually comes up from the keyboard a bit I mean you can press it down and you can still use it but after a while it just comes back out again right so any of you MacBook owners I'm sure you've had may have had a similar problem with at least one of your keys now I do have the option of taking it into Apple and getting it fixed and paying a ton of money because obviously I don't have Apple Care anymore or if I'm brave enough I can find somebody online who actually provides provides me with a the replacement keys including all the parts that come with the key because there are some uh, uh, small there's a couple of other things that you need that are installed below the key itself and I'll show you in a second but it wouldn't it be great if I can find someone who actually sells the keys and all the parts uh, along with instructions and I have been lucky enough to find this company right here As you can see here it's called replacementlaptopkeys.com now it's not just a, a company that replaced uh, keys for your Mac but as I say on the card from Apple to Toshiba all in stock they have their phone number there you can check it out um, www.replacementlaptopkeys.com I got this in the mail when I ordered my key and in the, on the back I got my new N key along with the little mini assembly um, that it comes with so in this video you guessed it I'm going to show you how to replace your faulty keys and I'm going to use my good old fashion my good workhorse here the 2013 MacBook Pro. So this particular key uh, works on 2013 to 2016 MacBook Pro models. Anyway, when you check the website out, they have everything there, all the models of laptops, all the years and whatnot, along with videos. So check it out. So here's their website, replacementlaptopkeys.com, and it's a very nice looking site, uh, professionally done. So you know you're dealing with professional people. And it says here, you know, replace your missing or worn out keys, perfect fit and finish, free installation guides, same day shipping, 100% guaranteed. And if you look along the left hand side here, here are all the brands of laptops um, that they have keys for. From A to Z pretty much. Acer, Alienware, Apple, Asus, Belkin, Compaq of all th things, wow. Dell, E-Machines, Fujitsu, Gateway, Google, HP, IBM, Kensington, Lenovo, Logitech, Microsoft, MSI, Panasonic, our good old friends Samsung, Sony, Toshiba, as well as Zag. And um, the keys are pretty cheap. Like you can get replacement sets for like 4.95 US, and you're gonna get three parts. You're gonna get a keycap, of course, and then there's the retainer clip which goes on the underside of the keycap and then in the middle of it all you get that little rubber cup all right you know when you press that key and it has a nice soft springy feel that you get that from the rubber cup so you get all that for $4.95 and here's some reviews all five stars of course and uh, fast delivery now what I like about this site as well um, when you collect when you select the your laptop and whatnot and um, the model it actually gives you uh, a little video as well, an installation video showing you how to install the key. Um, and uh, well, you're watching this, so you're going to get to see my video of um, how I went through the experience of changing the key myself. And it was very, very easy, and you're going to see it's very, very quick. Just need to be patient and um, yeah, just follow the instructions. So that's the website. So go check it out. and. Uh, you know, you could save yourself a ton of money you know, and time taking it to some uh, a technician and paying him a couple of hundred bucks when you can do it yourself for four ninety five. So let's uh, let me show you how to install this key now. So let me just take the contents out of the bag here.
Now, when you do get your key, you should get it in three pieces. There's three parts to this key, which is very, very important. Obviously, first off, you have your key. Next important piece is the hinge. This little thing here. You have, have to be very gentle with it. That's the hinge assembly. And then last but not least, you have this little thing here. It's a little rubber thing. If you think it's a piece of packaging, you're mistaken. It's very important. And it's actually called the cup. Small rubber cup. Right? You can actually depress it and it feels like a little rubber button. So you have your key, hinge, and you have your little cup. Now the first thing you have to do before you start working on the keyboard and before you start working on replacing this faulty button here, I have to turn off the laptop. So let me do that now. And let's go to shut down. Now I'm going to remove the old key. Now it shouldn't be too hard because it actually is kind of loose already. But if you have a small flathead screwdriver or a very small pocket knife, and I'm going to use a very small pocket knife in this video, um, or even if your fingernail, if you can gently, you can gently remove this key. Yeah, go. that comes off. Now I always stress, be very patient when you work on your laptop because you don't want to damage any of the internals. So here we're looking at the old key. So you remember when I showed you the key and then I showed you that little nub and then that little hinge assembly. So here's the old nub, the little rubber piece in the middle here which you're going to replace. And here is the old um, hinge assembly which we're going to take out so obviously if I lift this up like this you can see how the hinge assembly works here it's like um like, like a scissors it's like a cross on either end and it actually comes up like that now if you look closely there are two little hinges on the side here and at the top uh, underneath this piece here there is also Two little hinges. So what I'm going to do is slowly unpry the hinges from the bottom first because they look very. They're under like this metal tab. I'm just going to pull those out, and I should be able to just lift the whole thing out. Now on the bottom two corners here, there are these metal tabs that are attached to the chassis, and actually what they do. This is the new assembly unit here what you can see here is that those metal tabs actually go through these little holes here so what I'm to do is to, when I'm taking this out is to gently pry that up like that on one side and, oh, and there you go comes right out So I have big fingers, so I am going to use my little knife assembly here, just out you go, and bye bye, faulty unit. And then that little nub piece, I can just take that out, that's actually so here's my replacement nub. And actually, the nub on this one is actually still in good condition, so I'm going to leave this one in. But if your nub is faulty, you can just uh, take this out and replace it with this unit here, right? But this one isn't still in good condition, so I'm going to leave that one in. But you do have a spare rubber nub, right? And that's what goes in the middle there. So, here's my new assembly. Now to remember the orientation, uh, how did it go now? Yes, I think it was, yes, this way. So this is the orientation. Best way to look at it, with the 2013 to 2016 MacBook Pros, 
you have a little, it's not a perfect circle, there's a little line along the top here. Let me just show you. See this line along the top here? So it's like a little circle, and there's a little line there at the top. So that flat edge faces that way, and make sure that the long piece along the top here, it's up, it's, it goes up, right? It can only go in one direction, that's up. Anyway, so, let's put this in. So it's actually easier to put in and take out because when I look here, I can see there's two metal hooks here on the top and two metal hooks here on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is start off with the metal hooks right here at the bottom. I should be able to hook that in and it should hook in like that. So I'm pulling and it's not going anywhere because it's in the hook. Now what I'm going to do is in bring down the top and then I'm going to press those hooks in one two and that's it it's in place so what I did I just held it put the bottom two hooks into the two grooves pulled it a little bit to make sure that they were in those two grooves and then I just put um, put my finger and put some pressure on the top part of the the little assembly there and just clicked in both corners so all four corners are in place now that's done, I get my brand new N. Now the top, of, if you look at the bottom here, underneath the key, if you can see, I'm not too sure, there, there are four little latches, right? Um, so all I do, just, uh, I just put it right on top of the assembly like that, and gently press it in place to hear a clip. Hear that? One, two, three, four. And there, my friends, we have a brand new letter N. No longer does it jump out of its spot. It stays in place. And I can type and I can blog for hours and hours without breaking this key. And I saved myself a ton of money and a ton of time taking it to get repaired at the Apple Store. So, thanks to our friends at ReplacementLaptopKeys.com. Go check them out. And they have key replacement kits for all types of laptops ranging from Apple to Toshiba. And um, they ship pretty quickly. If you live in North America, like Canada or the United States, you can get your shipments pretty quick. Um, I'm in Canada, so it took me about two to three business days. If you're in the States, I'm sure you can get this, these things shipped to you like next day. Um, and these guys, if I'm correct, they're out in California. So, Cool. Hope you had fun watching this video and hope you learned a lot. And you guys have a great evening now. Bye bye. Hey everybody. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Now I'm going to ask you to do two things before you leave. One, there's a button right up here on the screen to my right here. Click on that and that will take you to our website www.redtechbot.com When you get on that site there will be a button there where you can actually sign up for our newsletter. And when you do sign up for our newsletter by entering in your email address, you will automatically be entered into all of our tech giveaways. And by tech giveaways, these are some typical examples of what we will be giving away. Uh, and these are some examples. There's other stuff as well. Um, and the good news is, you you know, you just have to enter your email address once and, you know, it will automatically be entered into the pool every time we do a draw. Um, and we will use that email address, of course, to, to contact the winner, to tell them, hey, you've won something. Um, and you know it's it's uh, it's really cool, and of course the newsletter will have you know you know updates on tech reviews, what's coming up new, uh, you know what's coming up next, um, you know new stuff uh, in the industry, and even information on on future giveaways, right? So it's really a really really nice newsletter that we're going to be uh, uh, sending out. And one other thing is on this side on the screen here up here, on my left. Uh, you click on that and you will subscribe to the channel. Now by subscribing, of course, you will be you know, at the forefront of any new things that are happening, any new videos that are coming out. Um, and what I will also be doing is I'll be doing videos where I'll be talking about what we're going to be doing as a next giveaway, right? So you want to be you know, subscribed, tuned in to that as well. So it's going to be a fun year and fun years to come as well. So yeah, that being said, you guys have a great day.